Welcome back Orange Fam to another video. Today I'll be teaching you how to make thumbnails like Peter McKinnon in Photoshop and Lightroom. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So here I have a photo of Peter McKinnon that I took from one of his videos. Obviously you'll be using your own photo but since I'm teaching you an effect that comes from him, I thought I'll use Peter himself as an example. So once you have your photo imported into Photoshop, duplicate your background layer by pressing Ctrl J on your keyboard. That way you can come back to your original photo if you mess up at any point in time. Now Peter tends to change his thumbnail's appearance with each upload. The one style he commonly uses is this grungy detailed cinematic look. The second style he uses is the duotone effect which he also made a tutorial on himself. And the third one is the split screen effect that he uses for his tutorials. First let's make the effect that he uses the most and that's this HDR. Like I don't know how it's called. I'm just looking for a word to use here. HDR? Let's use HDR, okay? Before we add any effects, right click on the layer, we duplicate it and select convert to smart object. I'll explain why we did this in just a moment. Now go to filter and select camera raw filter. This will open up a new window where we're going to add our special effects. Hold down Alt key and click a few times to make the preview smaller. Since we're making this for a thumbnail, making it smaller will give us an idea to how it will look when it's showed in search results on YouTube. Now, let's move that clarity slider all the way to 100. I swear to god, if this slider could move to 200, Peter would do it. He is so obsessed with this effect and it looks so damn good. Anyway, next move the black slider down a tight bit, so the blacks look truly black. And move the white slider a little bit as well. Move the shadow slider up to the point where enough detail are revealed in the shadows. Highlights, contrast and exposure is optional. If you want to increase or decrease them, it's all up to you. Everything depends on the effect you're going for and your image. Next I'm going to move the temperature slide to the left to make it look more cooler. And lastly, move the vibrant slider a tight bit to the right to give the colors pop. Our work here is finished. Now let's add some sharpness by going into the details menu and increasing the sharpness to around 60%. Now let's hit the magic button P to see how the before and after looks like. Here's our before and here's after. Big difference. Hit OK if you're happy with the result. If you remember earlier in the beginning, we converted this layer to a smart object. Now let's say I'm not happy with the amount of clarity I added. Since it's a smart object, I can double click on the camera raw filter below the layer. Make changes to it and then hit OK again. So that's our first effect. For the second effect, we're going to add some duotone. To do that, create a new empty layer. Select the brush tool and select a color of your choice, preferably orange since that's the one Peter used the most. Brush wherever you want. Once you're finished, change the layer blend mode to color and decrease the opacity if the effect is too much. And that's our duotone effect. Next, let's make a split screen effect that he uses for his tutorials. First, group everything you've created except the original background layer. Select all layers and hit Ctrl G on your keyboard to group them. Now select the rectangle marquee tool and create a selection of one side of the image. Then click on the layer mask icon and voila! There you have your last split screen effect. And that does it for this video. I hope you've learned something new. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Also, don't forget to watch my Peter McKinnon's uh, shit post. Um, I don't think he watched it, but Chris Howe did. I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Alligator. God damn it.